what it says. Romans 3.31. Do you then make void the law through faith? Certainly what? Not. On the contrary, we establish the law. Notice, we are speaking of the law of Moses. No one was able to fulfill the law. And Paul, speaking of the law of Moses, he said, it's a ministry of death, it's a curse, and it's condemnation. No one could fulfill the law. So now, through faith in Christ Jesus, in that sacrifice that took place, you embrace that, and it says that you've already confirmed the law. You've fulfilled it. There are people that are trying to fulfill the law. You're not trying, you've fulfilled it. Because faith in Christ Jesus, what it does is that what Christ did on the cross, all that sacrifice he performed there is and put it to you freely on your account. This is say your account was empty and he's made a deposit. Now your account is full. You do not achieve it by your words, but by faith, he sees you. He dies and places you in that death. One died and we all die with him. For in my inner being, I delight in the law of God, but I see another law in my members, warning against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Oh, what a miserable man I am. Who can... Deliver me from this body of death. I give thanks to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, with my mind, notice this is a job you need to do. With my mind, I serve the law of God. But if you come through the flesh, where does it take you? To the law of sin. You know why the evangelicals and Catholics criticize us when we say there is no sin? Because they serve God with the flesh. And with the flesh, what they see is sin, impossible because they're in flesh. But now in the mind, you serve God with the spirit and you honor what God says and there's no sin. Now, why through faith you confirm all of the law of Moses? Because truly, when, when you are a chosen one, you are, have been elect in your inner man, you don't, you don't want to kill. Who wants to kill? If you seek out the Ten Commandments, you're in favor of them. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Several. You should not desire the wife of your neighbor. How are you going to do that? That's your neighbor's wife. In other words, Truly, in your mind, you want to fulfill that. Now, some of us, we have committed that exactly that we don't want to do in our mind. But what happens? Since Christ placed you dead to the law of sin, though you commit that, God does not see you failing the law. The man, man sees you, the neighbor. But regarding God, no. I've already placed him dead to sin, delivered from the law. So you don't violate the laws. So it says in the inner man, I delight. But the problem is this here. So since this is, since this is the problem, he, did, he made provision for it. You don't judge yourself in the flesh. 